Wow, that is a lot of people. <laughs> Where do I put it? Oh no, okay, wait. I have no mouse, okay, I'm sorry. Wait, I need to get my screen over there. Okay, it's this way. Okay, we got this. Yeah! Okay, oh wait, that's not what you're supposed to be seeing. Hold up. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I have no mouse. You're not supposed to be seeing your code? Uh, there's this one. There we go. Okay, we're ready. Can I get one more? Yeah! Okay. Okay. Hi, everyone. I'm Sam. I'm at the littlest dev on Twitter, and this is my talk, Reusable Animations. So just before we get into the code, let's talk for just a second about what reusable animations are. So when you take an animation or a collection of animations out of your component and put them into a shared folder or an animations file, it becomes reusable. So it makes your code dry, do not repeat yourself, and it also becomes shareable across multiple components. So let's, let's see that in action. Okay, now this is gonna be, this is gonna be interesting. Oh, wow, okay, so I'm typing over here. Great. Okay, so here are the animations. Uh, I'll just give you guys just a second to look at these. This is nothing new, so. Okay, your second's up. Okay, starting in the component, we're gonna start by importing our, oh, no, I spelled it wrong. Importing our animations. So we're gonna start with fade. My hands are shaking really bad. <laughs> Okay, so we've got our animations in there. Fade, now we need the state, which is a string because it is, we are defining that in the animations file. And now we need the function and we're almost done. Yes, no, yes. Okay, so that's all you need for the component. Now moving into the HTML, you've got the click function, what? Okay, and over down here you have the trigger, which is at fade. So that's all you need. So now we should have a box that fades. Yay, it works! Yeah! That's not the cool part yet. We're not there yet, but thank you. Okay, so let's see uh, how easy it is to change from fade to grow. Okay, so grow, change it here. Row. Okay, so that's all you need for the component. Now in here you change fade, you change the trigger to grow. Now our box should grow. And if it doesn't, I will cry. <laughs> and it doesn't, let's see why. Okay, fade has not been registered, so I didn't save it, I did save it. Yay! <laughs> you don't need to clap every time. Okay. Now, we're gonna take a look at the animations file. Line 13, we see that we are able to define the duration from the component. So that makes your animation reusable, but also you can reuse it in a different way across multiple components, which makes it what I call next level reusable animations. So let's, let's see that work. So you import grow two, you import grow two, you pass in the time here, and we're just gonna make it grow really slowly so we know it's working, okay. So now we go here, we have, an, we have an error that says, I don't know if you can see this. No, okay. The provided animation trigger grow has not been registered. So that's a really common error that means my trigger does not match. So if we go in the HTML, change that to grow two, now our box should grow really slowly. And it does. Cool. Thank you, thank you. Okay, now the grand finale. This is really, really cool. We've got stagger. So just for a second, I made a little snippet of that so I wouldn't actually have to type it out. Can you imagine what would go wrong? So colon enter and colon leave are states that are defined by Angular animations. 
So these, in all the other ones, you can see that we're defining the state in all of them, except for this one. So it hooks onto something else in your code, which in our case is going to be an ngif, and watches that and applies the animation when needed. OK, so let's one more time start in the component. OK, now we need to take this function out, because we don't need it, because we're super cool. And that is now equal to false because, again, Angular Animations is defining it. It's not a string. We did not define it ourselves. It's either true or false. OK, starting here, we have the state equals not state. So it's either in, or it's out, or it's yes, or it's no. It's one or the other. And now here, we need our ngif. OK, so now we just see the state is equal to the ngif. We've got the trigger. We need to add some more boxes for our grand finale because we're going to need a lot more than one box. OK. We're almost there. OK. Can I get a drum roll? It doesn't work. <laughs> OK. Oh, no. I think I might have to restart the server. <laughs> OK, let me refresh it. I got this error bunch, and it's not my fault, I promise. <laughs> OK, can I get a drum roll, please? Yay! Thank you. That's it.